It's for you, man. Hello, and welcome to the Open Stage Performance Report. How we doing? It was a busy weekend for us circus freaks. Uh, Sunday, Marie Martin, where are you? Hi. Marie Martin walked two miles in the Oak Cliff Mardi Gras parade on stilts. And then due to poor prior planning, walked two miles back to her car. On stilts. Way to go. I was actually not there. I was with little G, Lena Ingram. Um, G's out here, Lena is not with us tonight. Uh, at a masquerade party, which we did really well at. There's going to be some pictures online. But I was unprepared for a masquerade party. I see some of you have masks, and if you didn't, Karen's actually provided us with free masks. Thank you. Pick up one. Get yourself masked. And um, at this gig, I had to have a mask, which required all of this stuff. So Thursday before the gig, I went downtown. I jumped on a train. And first thing, I got to tell you, the trains are, are a little scary right now. I know some stuff has happened in the news, but they're safe. I was there. I lived through the experience. But everyone is on the trains like this. Very intense. Just if you get on a train, don't go hugging random strangers. But if you can kind of like leak some positivity on them and see if we can't clear that up, that would be awesome. Um, I got to my next destination to pick up that box. And, and the item that is in that box in order to, in order to do this, this, uh, this gig I was doing. And I walked in the door of my post office, and there is a little kid. And I'm in a really bad mood. And there's this little kid eating a quesadilla. And he has no front teeth. <laughs> Slobber everywhere. And he says to me, he says, Hi! And of course, I'm thinking, oh, you must be from Open Stage or seen our videos because you did the Naga thing. Kind of, kind of, kind of. So um, I said hi to him. I said, how are you doing? He says, I'm good. I'm eating quesadillas, my favorite. You're very engaged, little kid, aren't you? I might be able to get a job for you. So I talk to the kid for another second, and then I walk and I go get the box. Give me a second. And then I go digging in the box, which you got to realize the box is huge. And the kid's mom starts noticing that the only place here for me to, to dig in this box was to dig next to the kid and put the box down next to the kid. The kid's eating quesadillas and watching what I'm doing. And we're having an animated conversation, but there's some details you're missing, which is why mom has a look like this. <laughs> let, let me give you an idea of what it looked like. It was at this point I realized that the kid thought I was a wizard, which was really cool. But where things kind of went off the rails was when I finally got the box, and the box made me angry. Look how big the box is, right? It's a big box. It was at this point mom noticed what I was doing. I'm... And I look at this, and I, and I think to myself, no, no, it's not what you think. <laughs> I work for the circus. Bam, I have never seen a child and his mother leave a room so quickly. So first of all, I am not a sex offender. <laughs> and second of all, I'd like to point out that appearances can be deceiving. I wasn't the scariest thing I saw that day. The train was way scarier. In any case. So the mask is at home. We'll see pictures soon. But the point I wanted to make was, you know, we walk through the curtain, we get here, we have all this fun, and we have to figure out who we are, what mask we're going to wear. And I think the fun thing about this place is we get to pick and nobody really cares. They're looking like Darth Maul was a bad decision. But, you know, here I can, I can do that and get a laugh, which says something about my friends, I realize. 
All right. Okay. So it's true. Anyway, I just wanted to shout that out. I wanted to point out that it's a cool place to be, whatever it is you are. Thank you and welcome to the open stage.